Fox News alert on the trial of former Clinton campaign lawyer Michael Sussman. Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign manager Robbie Mook testified today that Clinton herself approved the idea of giving the Alpha Bank story to a reporter as part of the Trump-Russia narrative. As you'll remember, that suggested that there were connections between Alpha Bank and the Trump campaign server. The FBI looked into that and found nothing suspicious. David Spunt is live outside the federal courthouse in Washington with more. David? Hi, Kaylee. Good afternoon. Uh, there was a little bit of surprise in the courtroom when Robbie Mook, the 2016 Hillary Clinton campaign manager, just answered a question casually that she personally approved uh, sending that story to the media. As you mentioned, it deals with an allegation or an accusation about the Trump organization, not the Trump campaign, but the Trump organization having a back channel to a Russian bank named Alpha Bank, which has some ties to the Kremlin, some Russian oligarchs uh, that are close with Vladimir Putin. So to give everyone a little bit of a backstory uh, on this story, because it is complicated, there are a lot of twists and turns. Hillary Clinton had a campaign attorney named Michael Sussman. He is on trial right now behind me in federal court because in 2016, September 2016, he went to his friend, who happened to be the general counsel at the FBI, a man named James Baker, and Sussman said, James, I have, or Jim rather, I have some information linking the Trump organization to a Russian-based bank via a back channel, via a computer server. James Baker took the information at the FBI. The FBI investigated. They found out there was nothing to it, Kaylee, as you mentioned. Hillary Clinton's team at the campaign also found out about that information. And we are learning today via Robbie Mook, the campaign manager. She personally was briefed on this allegation about the uh, Russian bank and Trump organization. And she said, OK, go ahead, give it to the media. And that's where we are right now. Sussman is charged with one count of uh, providing a false statement to the FBI. The trial's been going on for a week. It's expected to continue another week. But again, uh, definitely a little bit of a surprise in the courtroom, I think, from not only the government, but the defense when Robbie Mook uh, went ahead and admitted that Clinton herself uh, gave the go-ahead for disseminating that story, which turned out to be false. Wow. Powerful new information. Thank you very much, David. Keep us up to date. Emily, uh, a quote that stood out to me by Robbie Mook, imagine you know, he's with the Clinton campaign. He says this, we told her, Hillary Clinton, we have this, and that's the information about this bank allegedly having this communication, or at least the server suggested so with the Trump organization. We told her we have this, and we want to share it with a reporter. She agreed to that. This is the information that turns out was baseless or nothing suspicious. What I find so ironic, Kaylee, is that as this sort of explosive testimony has undercovered what was at the root and who gave the blessing for them to disseminate false information that was amplified a million times over by our mainstream media, we are hearing nothing but crickets from the media now over this. Let's look at what instead that they are focusing on. What, what shells are they placing over what's actually important to this country because they want to divert our attention otherwise, but obviously here on Fox News, we are covering it minute to minute. And keep in mind as well, just in the back of our minds as we listen and watch this unfold, that this trial, as David said, this is over providing false information, right, and, and perjury. That is a hook that a lot of people can be on the hook for the more we learn and especially potentially the person that was just named as who did give that blessing, Kaylee. Yeah, really important information there. Kennedy, another quote that stood out to me, this is again from Robbie Mook. He says this, we didn't have the expertise to judge what we were briefed on. And he was briefed by Mark Elias, who was another attorney about this information. He admits we didn't have the expertise, but he says we decided to give it to a reporter so the reporter could run it down more. It's their decision whether to publish it. Sounds a little bit like passing the blame. Well, and you also give it to reporters that you know aren't going to do their due diligence mm -hmm. and investigate the story and talk to the FBI and talk to sources. Uh, they ran with it because they were all so opposed to the idea of a Trump presidency. Mark Elias, of course, in charge of the law firm that paid for the Steele dossier. Uh, all of it has proven to be false. And it just goes to show that uh, Hillary's campaign, uh, they were desperate. They were losing. Uh, this is a case of wag the rat. 
And, uh, <laughs> but, you know, talk about a, a political losing harpy who <laughs> couldn't stand to see power escaping her, her grasp. And, you know, she was in a, a lot of trouble, if you remember then, for her private server that where she was deciding which emails to delete. Yeah. And uh, it, she was in a, a lot of trouble for that. So she was like, what can we do? I know, we'll say that Trump has a secret server with Russia. So that's where the whole Russia idea uh, got cooked. Michelle, big news that Hillary Clinton knew and greenlighted this information being given to a reporter. It begs, what else did Hillary Clinton know? There's so many unanswered mm. questions. The extent mm. of the dossier, which the Clinton campaign paid for, as Kennedy suggested. Um, in this case, Michael Sussman on trial for going to the FBI. The government saying that he did not purport to the FBI that he was with a campaign. Instead, he acted as if he were a private citizen. Michael Sussman denying that. But the question remains, what did the principal know? And this is the first evidence that I know of that the principal greenlighted at least a portion of this activity. All that comes to mind is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> it seems to me that this yes. is classic disinformation campaign, right? And who will be held accountable for this? Because I highly doubt that Ms. Clinton will be held a, a, accountable for any of this. But this is what just makes people sick to their stomachs about politics, that you have this outsider running in Donald Trump. Ms. Clinton, Hillary Clinton, was under her own suspicions, as Kennedy just reminded us, about wiping a server, not with a cloth. And, you know, so they found this sort of equal accusation to throw at the guy running against her. And, you know, it doesn't surprise me that Clinton would be in on the, hey, yeah, let's go ahead and push this and plan it. And, Give it to a reporter who maybe is favorable with us and likes us and won't do that. You see the quotes and the headlines and the tweets that came out right about this time that this apparently shows this could be the, the closest link that we have between Trump and Russia. All those little caveats. It was nothing in the end. Yeah. And Nina Jankowitz yeah, retweeted that information as well. Yes. Yep. Yes. Well, Nina Jankowitz. Yes. A reminder, this is all witness. Let me get this in quickly, Jimmy. This is all witness testimony. So this is the story of Robbie, Robbie Mook. So we'll see. Under There's oath. another side to the story. Who knows? But, but go ahead. Under oath. That's right. Jimmy. No, I was going to say about Nina Jankowitz. She's actually the favorite on the next season of America's Got Issues <laughs> with all of that weird singing and carrying on. <laughs> uh, all things considered, yeah. I still just want to say that no matter how nefarious this testimony gets, Hillary still wants to run in 2024. Totally. She will never stop running for president. Yeah, Someday the Trump rallies are going to be chanting, help her up. <laughs> she should be 107 <laughs> and making her way out there to the podium. Well, I'm going to turn this country around. And uh, this exposes her for what she is. Nothing's beneath them. Yeah. Nothing. Well, she, she does have a lot of ambition, perhaps blind ambition, Jimmy. We'll see. That 107-year-old run would be interesting. <laughs> All right. Younger than Biden. Up, America's... <laughs>